I always knew I wanted to go into medicine from a pretty early age. I also was dealing personally with um, very severe psoriasis from the age of five, and that was um, that's a skin condition that is also autoimmune in nature. And so that kind of just motivated me as I got older to, you know, kind of be the doctor that I never really had growing up. So I'm a pediatric rheumatologist, which um, a lot of people don't know what that is, but it pretty much means I deal with children that have. Um, oftentimes autoimmune diseases that will affect the joints or the muscles, but then can also affect other organ systems as well. Um, we also deal with some auto-inflammatory conditions, so a lot of times like some periodic fever syndrome, so kids that are having these recurrent fevers without really other explanation and they kind of come in a consistent pattern. I see a whole range of kids, um, you know, from small babies that might be presenting with maybe more um, concern for some sort of genetic issues or fever problems, um, all the way up into adolescence and early adulthood. I think the most common kind of like chief complaint we have in rheumatology is joint pains. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that a child has arthritis. So I think we're very fortunate in our field to have like such a big toolbox of different treatments. Depending on the patient needs, if we're really dealing with, like I said, more of an autoimmune issue or even auto-inflammatory issue, um, then we have to start talking about medications that suppress the immune system. Sometimes that will involve steroids for kind of a rapid uh, effect and to quiet that inflammation very quick. Um, other times it's incorporating other medications like biologics or disease modifying agents that kind of alter the immune pathways in the body um, or target a specific protein to quiet that inflammation down. One thing I usually pride myself on is I feel like I'm a very good listener and um, I really take my time with patients. I never want a patient to leave a visit with me feeling like, why did I come here? I always just try to make the visits fun, um, regardless of the age of the patient. If it's an older kid, you know, asking them about their hobbies, what they like to do for fun, what they hope to be after high school playing with the babies and, you know, making funny voices and, um, you know, the joint exam, um, which is so important to our field, is actually very fun to do. <laughs> and so kind of almost making it like a game for them is a, um, often brings like laughter and kind of, I think, comfort to it. I also am uh, trained in musculoskeletal ultrasound, which we're able to do at the bedside. If families are traveling long distances, so they don't have to go to radiology, they can just um, stay at the bedside in the current clinic room and I bring the ultrasound machine in and scan their joints to better visualize if there's any joint inflammation going on. And then the last part of the visit is always just coming up with a plan together and that way, you know, the families feel comfortable with what we've talked about, what my initial impressions are. Pediatric rheumatology is a very small field, so a lot of times there's just clusters of us in big cities and um, I do go to many satellite campuses. So um, our goal is to really provide, you know, the best rheumatologic care for patients in any location in Northeast Ohio or beyond.